Okay, here's the uh, Jet 14 inch woodworking bandsaw that uh, I'm converting to a metal saw, a metal cutting saw. Uh, you can see I've replaced the tires and got a three quarter inch uh, new bandsaw blade on. Those are urethane tires, they just snapped right in place. And then this is a much larger uh, shiv. It came with this one. You can see the diameter difference. And then that pulley went down to a motor down below on that shiv, and it was just direct drive. It, it bolted over there to the side. And now I have a bracket, that black bar it comes over to a hinged piece, which holds this pedestal bearing. That pedestal bearing holds this shaft, which is a compound reduction shiv. There it is. So the motor drives that, and then turn drives this two and a half inch shiv to a 10 inch shiv. So that's uh, a 1.75 inch and three quarter to a 12 and a half inch in diameter uh, shiv to a two and a half to a 10. So now, once I get the drive installed, the electrical side of this, this ought to work pretty good. First test run of the um, VFD uh, three phase motor on my uh, 14 inch wooden bandsaw that's converted to cut metal. Here's the uh, control. I gotta mount that yet. You can hear the fan running. There it is back in there. Got it set for one and a half hertz. Let's turn it up. That's 60 hertz. Needs to go just a little bit faster. Have to do some tuning on the drive. Other than that, it looks pretty successful. Let's turn it off. Slow it down and stop it. It's pretty cool. So this looks like your run-of-the-mill uh, jet woodworking bandsaw, but it's not. It's been converted to cut metal. The only thing I have left to do is uh, fabricate a cover for that uh, pulley there. And uh, you see the wire come out. It's now wired for uh, uh, 240 volts instead of uh, 120. But looking back at the saw, it looks, uh, looks quite factory other than that missing cover. It has a metal cutting blade in it and I put urethane tires on it. And the only other giveaway is this little control box that's mounted. That controls the VFD, the variable frequency drive, which is located down here in the bottom. There it is, back there. So incoming power, and you can see the little cable there that goes to the remote. And that drives a three-phase motor that happened to come off an elevator uh, door motor. Uh, matter of fact, that pulley right there and the gray bearing behind it came from an elevator door motor. 
So that reduction is what slows this saw down and allows it to uh, cut metal. Let's take a look. So we'll come back around. The fan is a little bit loud, but it's okay. I imagine once this cover is installed, uh, it'll be a little quieter. And uh, just to give you an idea, there's the upper wheel. Well, let's go ahead and let's give this a run. So you'll notice it's running at pretty close to 75 hertz. I put some tape on the spoke so you can kind of see how slow it turns. And I put some white tape on that pulley so you can see how fast it's rotating. It runs really smooth. And it's pretty quiet. What's really neat is you can speed it up or slow it down just by turning the knob. So that's 30 hertz. And then I can go full tilt, which I've got it tuned into 120 hertz. It should be good for cutting soft metals like aluminum. And dial it back to about 75. A little sensitive, but that right there puts me at about 150 feet uh, per minute on the blade um, cutting speed there, so it's perfect for most most cutting jobs. You can stop the saw. Nice little soft stop. And then I come over here and there's a little jog button. If I press that, it just runs at 30 hertz until I let off the button. I figured maybe I could use that for help putting on a blade or, or uh, you know, cleaning it out of jam or something like that. I might be able to program it so it runs in reverse on jog. So if you ever got something jammed down in here, you can, you can get it uh, to come out. I was just sitting there at the last commanded frequency. And of course it's already stopped. And you can change the frequency with it not running. And just hit start. And then if I hit stop, it should stay at about 75 for most most operations here. Close enough. And then I have this still wired in place. I give it a stop. It disconnects the power, but the capacitors in the drive will run for a minute. And there it is. So the only real changes besides the VFD and the addition of that secondary shiv and the three phase motor is that drive. And I just drilled a couple holes mounted this bracket to mount the little box. And I also drilled a couple and tapped a couple holes here to hold the cables. And then I drilled a hole there, put a rubber grommet for that VFD. And those two screws are holding the piece of wood that the VFD is mounted on. So all in all, it's a, it was a pretty easy project. And I'm gonna have to get me a new label because it's no longer a woodworking bandsaw. I could use it for wood if I just turn the frequency up. The drive is capable of 600 hertz, which is more than fast enough to get the blade speeds back to where you need to cut wood. So you could do it. Um, I don't anticipate it, but um, at any rate, this is a cool little project. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.